I'm just going to start this with um, um, a bit of my story, um, how this whole um, plant worker idea actually started. Um, so a um, few um, years down the line, um, I remember when I didn't have a car, and so you want to leave your home most times and um, having to access some of these um, public transportation uh, system and fully kitted up, dressed up, and you want to go out. And um, there was this faithful day, I joined one of the buses and when I was coming down with these beautiful <laughs> blazers I was wearing about going for a meeting, I came out and um, discovered that um, um, a part of the boss has actually torn my, my blazers and I was, I was mad. I was Basically, um, the Plenty Worker business model is to move people in groups, all right? And in ensuring that you want to get um, bus-like kind of vehicles that can move people in groups. So when we um, um, launched the Plenty Worker model, that was what we had at the back of our mind, to move people in, group, in groups and also to align with Lagos State Mass Transit Program of moving, moving people in groups. And um, when we started, we test run with few vehicles to test the model and also to set the standards that we want to operate moving forward. And then we got to a point where we have to launch our Plenty Worker Vehicle Partnership. What that does for us is it allows um, partners to now bring their vehicles on board, you know, on board their vehicles on our platforms and they, we share revenue from those vehicles. So with the v, uh, Plenty Worker Vehicle Partnership, we now have partners bring onboarding CNRs and um, 40 seater buses and also coastal buses on the system. That is why you actually see some of those vehicles. This is, uh, most of those vehicles right now are partners vehicles at the moment. And that is currently building because in the last one month we've been able to um, onboard um, over 50 vehicles on the platform right now. The aim of this um, model also is to help us scale faster because we're um, looking at also spreading into other routes in Lagos State. Um, currently, we, we, we launched with um, the Aja CMS, CMS Aja route. We've opened up Aja, um, Aja um, Ade Tokumba Demola. We've also opened up Aja Urushiki also. Uh, we're still going to be spreading to other, other routes in Lagos. And then um, uh, very soon also we'll be moving to other states. You know, and um, this has been the bottleness and cumbersome nature of the whole public transportation system um, in Lagos State. Having all of this, you know, the, 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 you, several questions come to your man, mind. What if, if we can put, you know, better infrastructures in place and standard operations that governs and reshaped the whole public transportation system? How will it look like when, <clears throat> if I can actually, um, from the comfort of my home, I can actually see the number of buses coming in my direction instead of having to go to those bus stops. You don't know when the next available bus is gonna come. What if I can just see the number of buses, the number of seats that are available, and just book those seats, and I just see the estimated time of arrival that takes the bus to go. So you don't need to worry yourself about, you know, whether you're gonna get a bus or you get on the bus stop. So this whole idea kept on hitting me very hard and I felt, okay, I think there's a need that needs to, um, 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 to be solved here. And that was how we came about um, the whole Plenty Worker idea. Um, we thought through the whole process end to end and then um, we started working on the application. And um, we were able to now create a system, um, a, um, an efficient and a more reliable system that people cannot have access to premium vehicles. The, that also creates longevity and also um, this also helps you um, uh, make your commuting also better you know you can also plan your own your, your commuting also um, by knowing when the buses will arrive and when you're also going to leave so with the Plenty Worker app today you just have access to you know booking seeing the number of buses coming your direction and you book those know the number of seats available and you can book those seats and 
use the system. What we are promoting are premium vehicles. Um, we want a situation whereby where, when anybody wants to onboard any vehicle on the platform, there are certain vehicles that, that fits into our standard as a business. And we don't want to fall below those standards. Hence, we actually test run with a few buses we actually use to start and uh, to launch this, um, um, the model. And that worked for us. And that's why some of you that use the system today, we know the kind of buses. I've seen riders who come to meet me. These buses doesn't look like plenty of uh, buses, <laughs> you know. So we, we hear some of those things. So that is why we want to maintain those standards. These are AC buses. And um, what we are onboarding right now from the Siena to the Costa, they fall within those um, um, standards we're also looking at. So what is paramount for us as a business for vehicles right now, a premium vehicles, um, AC buses um, that looks neat with um, good, um, what's it called, uh, pilots that are driving the vehicles and um, what's called VAs on board. So we've actually signed a pact with, um, with um, an asset management company that helps us with um, vehicle procurement that assists to our system, um, driver recruitment, um, VA recruitment. The VAs are more like um, um, our customer care um, um, uh, service um, personnel that are inside those vehicles that engage our riders, like what is obtainable with the airlines today, where you have air hostesses and all of that. It just gives you this feel that somebody is just um, there for you when you need anything inside the vehicle. Somebody is just there to attend to you. So this um, company actually recruit those VAs, train them, and um, assess, um, assign them to plenty of workers. Um, when, when you talk about pricing, price is very key for any business in terms of how people react to, um, users react to that. And um, when we started the Plenty Worker model, what we had from day one in mind was to cater for people um, that cannot afford the taxi cabs on a daily basis and also don't want to come too low to using the downfall um, services on a daily basis. So we, 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 that, those were our, um, that was the target market. And uh, we wanted to just be in between that. But however, when we started, you know the normal, the typical Lagosians, they don't want to pay so much. So when we started, we, we did free rides for like, for like um, about one and a half months. I guess they were used to it at some point, you know. But again, we have to get to a point, a point whereby um, we, we get the business to a break-even point, given your, your um, business model, your financial model vis-a-vis -vis also. So, but right now, we, we actually started charging um uh what's it called um charging about 200 naira that we started increasing gradually but we knew where we we're going to hence you actually saw those um those changes at some points right now i think um so we have the search the search thing right now which now takes it to 550 naira from ibrahim this one to to um to cms however we also charge between um, 200 naira and 550. There are some people that still pay 200 naira to date. So it actually depends on where you are actually commuting from. You know that really matters. Okay, my name is Johnny Enna, co-founder and manager of Plenty Worker. You are watching Business Day Tech Bridge.